as we move into the holiday season, it's a great time to reevaluate and refine our practice habits. In this video, we will be coming up with a practice plan together so that you can be on your way to reaching your goals with the violin. Welcome to the Tune Project. If you're new here, I hope you'll stay and peruse some of my other videos I post here on the Tune Project two times a week. So if you're interested in everything violin and fiddle related, then consider hitting that red subscribe button below. And of course, if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That always really helps my channel out. And let's get into the video. So I've spoken briefly in some of my other videos about dividing up your practice time and what to do if you have a set amount of time, how to fit everything in and really make sure that you're covering all of your bases with your practicing. Well, this video is gonna kind of dive a little bit deeper into that whole concept. And I thought a fun way to explain this would be to compare our practice routine to a four course meal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of walk through each of the courses, so to speak, so that you have a good understanding of how much time to spend on each of the elements that you're working on and that you're practicing and how to really make sure that you cover everything that needs to be covered in order to reach your goals. So getting into this first course here, we have our soup to begin with. So this is our warm up. This is a great opportunity to just get our muscles and our brain warmed up and ready to jump into the rest of our practice session. So this warm up is a good opportunity to play scales, arpeggios, even just open strings. But I would really encourage you, regardless of what style of music you play, to work through scales and take this time to really make sure that you are comfortable in different keys and things like that. So this would be the time to do it during the warm up. And now moving on to our appetizer. This is the exercises portion of the practice session. So after you warm up and play scales and arpeggios and things like that, you wanna move on to whatever exercises you're currently working on. So maybe you're spending some time lately focusing on one particular technique. Maybe you're wanting to improve your left hand, your right hand, your tone with your bow, or maybe vibrato or shifting. This is the time to really focus on those particular things that'll improve your overall technique and whatever you're working toward. So if you are in the classical world, this would be a great time to pull out the etudes. If you are a fiddle player, this would be a great time to pull out some chord exercises, practice double stops, things like that. So whatever exercises you are working on currently, or if there's anything that your teacher gave you in particular in that regard, this is definitely the time to do it. All right, so we've worked through our soup, our appetizer, and we are onto the entree this is the main event. So this is whatever tune or piece you are currently working through that needs the majority of your time. So maybe you just started working on a new tune or a new piece, maybe, you know, a sonata or something like that, that really needs a lot of your attention. This is the time to do it. And this is where we want to spend the bulk of our practice session. So this is where you want to make sure that you're comfortable with those little sections that maybe you've been struggling with lately, go back to those specific places and really, really drill and work those so that you're comfortable putting everything together in context when you play through the whole tune or the whole piece that you're working through. And if you would like tips for specifically working through pieces or problem areas of tunes and things like that, I did address that in my recent Q&A video. So I will leave that up here in the cards if you'd like to check that out. Okay, so this is where I like to throw in a dessert. And not everybody likes to do this, but this is just a personal preference. I think it's fun to end with something that you really love playing. Now, ideally, everything that we play should be something that we love, but that's not always the case. So this is the time for you to pull out one of your favorite tunes or favorite pieces that you really love. It could be a great opportunity to go back and review things that you haven't played in a while, maybe, things that you're really comfortable with, but this dessert time Time, as I like to call it, is really the time for you to play things that you love, that bring you joy, so that you can really end your practice session positively, because that's what we want. We want to walk away from our practice session really confident and happy with what we accomplished, and also just glad to be playing, you know, the tunes and the pieces that we're working on. So this time, this end of our practice session is a great time to pull out those pieces, those tunes that are a little bit more fun, a little bit more easy, 
that our fingers are comfortable with and that we don't have to really work struggle through because that's reserved for the main course so this is the time to do that and that is it you guys that was our four course meal of a practice session I hope you enjoyed learning about how to divide up your practice session and I hope this was helpful maybe eye-opening for some of you hopefully let me know in the comments down below what you think of this whole concept of applying a four course meal to a practice session if you practice in this way if you you know start with your warm-ups and things like that and how you progress through your session I would love to know what has worked for you and while I'm here I just wanted to mention that I do have another jam workshop coming up this month it is on the 25th of October and you can check out details in the description box below we've been having these jam workshops at the end of every month and it's been really really fun every single time so I hope you guys come to this one and we're gonna be working through a fun tune and learning chords as well so if that's something Thing that you feel you could benefit from then definitely come join us we have a lot of fun all right well thanks so much for sticking around and watching this video i hope it was helpful for you and i will see you in the next one happy practicing if you'd like to further your support of the tune project be sure to head over to patreon.com slash the tune project for information on that and if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on amazon be sure to head over to the tune project website which i link in the description box of all of my videos click my amazon banner and whatever you purchase a small percentage of that will go toward the tune project this just keeps the tune project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all